Hi, I'm Brian Barash with Brannock Industries. I want to start off by thanking you for your purchase of Model 485 or 685 nitrogen system. Before we get started, I'd like to challenge you as a first step is to convert all of your employees' vehicles over to nitrogen. It's always a little easier to sell something once you've tested it and once you believe in it yourself. First, there's three things to remember when you're converting a vehicle before you turn on the machine. Number one is check and make sure you have a tight connection on the valve stems. If you hear a leak, adjust it a little bit. Number two, make sure that the TPMS sensor is not at six o'clock, especially on a low profile tire. What's gonna happen is when that deflates, that can crush the TPMS sensor and you don't wanna have to deal with that issue. So if it's at six o'clock, make sure you rotate the tire. And three, what you wanna do is make sure that the hoses aren't close to uh, the tire or where they be could become trapped once the tire deflates. That would obviously cut off the supply to the tire on the other side. You don't want that to happen. All right, so let's get started. Turn on the machine. Now before filling, there's three other things to remember with the auto inflator. Number one, check the tire pressure from inside the door or the manual. Dial that in. Next, number two, put it from stop to fill. And number three, hit into cycle. Now you're off and going. With this Toyota Camry, you've got a little bit under five minutes to go work on something else. Listen for the beep, when you hear it, you're done. Let's talk a little bit more about the machine. Back to the inflator. You'll also notice a top off button. There's two times you'd use this. A vehicle will come in, they want their tires topped off, connect the hoses, hit the top off button, take a few seconds, and you're done. Also, let's say a vehicle has maybe 32 PSI in the front tires and say 36 in the back, after you've gone through a complete into cycle, what you want to do, turn it from fill to stop, disconnect the front, dial up the pressure to 36, put it back to fill, and hit the top off button. In a matter of a few seconds, the front tires obviously stay at 32 because they're disconnected, and the tires in the rear will go back up to 36. Kind of coming through the machine, first of all, how does this machine generate nitrogen? Inside of every machine is an air products prism membrane. Inside of this membrane, there's about a thousand fibers that are hollow, about the thickness of your hair. What happens is, when you plug this machine in the air supply, the air goes through our filters, we'll cover that in a minute, goes through the bottom of the membrane. Now these little fibers being hollow, they're, actual permeable, they're also permeable, just like your tires. So the smaller molecules, oxygen, water, vapor, escape faster, come out this little port in the side. The nitrogen stays in the membrane, goes through to the top, goes into a tank, and then goes in through the tires. Some people ask, well, the air is already 79, 80% nitrogen. What's the difference of another 20% or 15% in the tires? That's no big deal. It's not actually at all about nitrogen. Nitrogen is dry, inert, non-flammable. It's really about getting the oxygen and the water vapor out. Why do you buy bottled water? It's not necessarily because of the kind of the water. It's because you're getting rid of the impurities and all the contaminants inside of the water that you may find in a kitchen sink. Same thing with nitrogen tire inflation. You get rid of oxygen that escapes faster out of a tire and you get rid of the water vapor that expands and contracts at a greater rate and your tires are gonna run cooler. You're gonna get better fuel efficiency because you have a consistent contact patch on the road and the tires are gonna last longer. All right, going over the machine, if you take a screwdriver, open up the front panel, you'll see a couple different filters. These do need to be serviced every six months. Very easy to do, we've got a video online and also a little flyer that came with the machine uh, that explains how to do it. It's about a 10 minute process. Also, we uh, provide all of our machines with five years of free filters, so make sure you take advantage of that. You keep the filters clean, these membranes can last up to 25 years. Next, there's adjustable purity. We highly recommend you keep it between about uh, C and a half and D. That's about 98% purity. 
that's going to get the highest purity uh, in the tires and also you're not it's not going to slow down anywhere from passenger vehicles uh, to SUVs this will still generate enough nitrogen you can do those vehicles back to back the only time you'd maybe want to turn it down to A is if you're going to be filling uh, maybe dualies or very large vehicle that'll give you a lot more output some other features you'll notice into sampling port just to test purity from the machine you also notice uh, you have an air inlet out, uh, on and off you only need to turn that off when you disconnect the air inlet hose you also notice on the sides there's additional two ports for dualies or maybe doing a spare tire in the trunk we also have an auxiliary tank in the back that allows you to fill single tires without using this device the auto inflation device or you can plug that into an auxiliary tank and then you have a spare reserve of nitrogen put that next to your tire changer uh, 120 or 240 gallon tank and now you've got it's kind of like having two nitrogen systems for one just park the mobile system there when it's not being used on a vehicle and keep the reserve tank full a lot of people ask, you know, what's so special about nitrogen? Uh, you know, who else uses it? NASCAR uses nitrogen. Uh, primarily, uh, they use it for proper and predictable expansion and contraction. Nitrogen still will expand and contract, just at a much lower and predictable rate. That's why NASCAR uses it. The airline industry, the FAA, requires it. Why? Uh, airplanes would go up to 30,000 feet. The moisture in the tire would actually create shards of ice. When they'd land, it would pierce the tire and ruin the tires, sometimes every landing. So they eliminated and got the moisture uh, out of the airline tires. Uh, if you like to drink beer, odds are your beer uh, was pumped using a nitrogen compressor. You open a bag of chips, it was blanketed with nitrogen uh, for longer lasting. Also, you can find other products today like uh, basketballs that are pre-filled with nitrogen and uh, a lot of other products. Now the second you hear that beep, you're done. Some machines wait or request that you wait for 10 seconds uh, to make sure that everything is equalized so that way the TPMS sensors are right on. We actually have that built in. So you hear the beep, put it from fill to stop, and you're done. Well, that was our training today on the 485. Appreciate your time. If you have any questions, give us a call anytime, 877 into hotline. Appreciate your business, and thanks not only for your shop going green, but helping your customers to go green. Have a great day.